Thursday things we're making Thursday things we're making Thursday yeah Hi everybody! My name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. Did you hear the jingle? Yep, it's Thursday and Thursday's Things We're Making Thursday. And that, as the jingle stated, is a collaboration of multiple YouTube creators. I've got them all linked down below. Feel free to search them out. This is such a wonderful, talented group of creators that you might not have heard of. So click through each one, take your time, it's enjoyable. So we pick out a free pattern each month and they're generally very simple, easy crochet patterns. Occasionally they'll be a little more complicated, but they're generally pretty easy. And we all make the same thing. And it's, it's wonderful. So it's this big crochet along collaboration. And there's even a Facebook group. If you want to join the Facebook group, feel free. That's also linked down below. And it gives all sorts of information. I think last I checked, there's well over 200 people that are joined. You don't have to be a content creator at all. You, um, just join and see what we're doing. See what we're up to. Pop in. Uh, make a note. Tell us what you're doing. If you want to show us pictures of the things we're making Thursday items that you've made, feel free to. And Heather from Strings and Threads, she's linked down below too. She'll go ahead and at the end of the month, if you've put your pictures in the Facebook group, she'll gather those up and make a slideshow of presentation of all the finished projects that everybody's done. And then she'll put that on so you can have your pictures in there too, if you choose to. Notice I'm wearing stuff? Yeah. This is the last Thursday of the month. And the last Thursday of the month, the idea is to actually have a completed whatever the project was. This month, it was fingerless mitts. Um, but you'll have a finished project of that and talk about what the next item is. So the last Thursday of the month, we get the announcement of what the next month is going to be. So I'll be talking about what October is. So just to recap, if this is your first time coming along and visiting me, welcome. Thank you. We did fingerless mitts last month and there were five different patterns to choose from, which is a little bit on the unusual side, but that's okay. It makes it more fun. We had a uh, a simple pattern from Caron uh, Knitting, which was a very easy pattern. We had a Red Heart pattern. Uh, we had this one right here. It's uh, Hooked by Robin. It's the uh, Fantail Stitch. I think that's what it's called. And uh, we had uh, another pattern by Heather from Strings and Threads. And then we had one from Crystal from Hook That Yarn. So those and Crystal and Heather are both part of the Things We're Making Thursday group. So not only are we doing a free pattern, we're also lifting up other creators within our group because isn't that what it's all about is helping each other out. So you'll notice I have on my mitts. I made my mitts, right? I'm all in my yellows and golds today. And then I have this gorgeous hat. Crystal pointed out, she found this just searching on the interwe interwebs and <laughs> the interweb tubes, like we all do, right? Looking at different things. And she noticed this gorgeous pattern. See that nice shell that I've got right here <laughs> in the, in the, um, in the mitts. She noticed that was in a hat pattern. And this was also a free pattern. And I have that link down below. But since I know how to knit and crochet and I don't always follow patterns because there's suggestions and guidelines and you just don't have to. You have free will and choices. I made the ribbing right here and I did that knitted. Now I've done crocheted ribbing. I've been crocheting for 40 plus years. I've done crocheted ribbing, but I have a choice now and I wanted the knitted ribbing. So I did the knit ribbing and then I did the rest of the hat as written uh, with the crocheting and that is linked down below. I did my own decreases in the back. I can take that off and show it to you because I felt like it. I mean, straight up, I felt like it. Patterns are wonderful jump off points. If you've got confidence and you're just willing to uh, do things a little differently and not be afraid to tear some things out once in a while, you can do it. There you go. It's crocheting. You've got a bent hook and some string. Knitting, two sticks and some string. That's it. You've got this. So I thought that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed, I can go ahead and take these out, what do you think? I enjoyed making my mitts. I enjoyed doing the hat. 
and having this wonderful, wonderful set. Uh, this yarn, I've got it right here, that I used is Loops and Threads. The It's a facets yarn and it's a 100% acrylic. There were 279 yards in this, 100 grams. This color, I believe it's called Coastal and it's a medium number four weight, so it's a worsted weight yarn. And I think I used size G crochet hook. Yeah, I used a G crochet hook, a four millimeter, for the uh, the cuffs. They were easy to make. I did make a mistake uh, about a week ago. On my second one, I made uh, one row longer than I did on the first one, so I had to rip that out. I realized it, of course, when I got to about here, so or right here, whatever. I was trying to. I was just about this much left, and I had to tear it all back. It was a choice. I had the option of leaving it and ignoring it. Uh, one of the other commenters said that what they would have done is just gone to the original one and just added a row at the bottom. It's another option. Um, wasn't a super hard problem project. The yarn, because it's a roving style and it's a little fuzzy, was a little cumbersome to pull out. I did show that, but otherwise it was worth it. Just take your time, be slow, be relaxed. Give yourself permission to make mistakes once in a while. It's okay. And I was able to go ahead and correct it. And I have two matching gloves. They are the matching length, right? The colors don't line up. That's not really the type of yarn this is. I'm not sure if there would have been repeats that lined it up. I wasn't worried about it. And I really like the addition of the nice hat, just having that right there. I can put a pom-pom on it. I probably won't. Um, I like my hats slouchy like this. Everyone's different. I normally wear them just like this, kind of like a headband, you know, the big baggy in the back, and there you have it. And my hair tends to be shorter. I am growing it out though. It's pretty fluffy, <laughs> but it tends to be shorter. So I really like the hats like that. And that's just my preference for style. So you want to see what we're going to be making for this month. I mean, it's, well, October, right? Uh, coming into the nice autumn seasons and things like that. So of course we're gonna make a pumpkin. How exciting. This pumpkin is uh, Red Hats, or Red, Red Hats, Red Heart Pattern by Sharon Mann. It is a free pattern that will also be linked down below. So you're using a worsted weight yarn. This is considered a very easy pattern. I did look over it, um, doesn't seem too, too cumbersome. Again, they did rate it as easy and you can put all of the accoutrements on it, the eyes, the mouth and everything, just like a carved jack-o'-lantern, or you can leave it plain. And it'll be interesting to see all the people in the group, what their interpretation of, of this glorified gourd for this particular month. So we have that and I have lots of colors to choose from. You know, I've got yarn, right? So I do have colors that I can choose from that are very autumn themed. And then I'm also looking at uh, Crystal from Hook That Yarn. She also has a pumpkin tutorial. So there's two different ones there that are going to be listed down below for the tutorials. And I will be checking both of those out. Do you want to see what I, I just did a quick perusal. I love orange. I really do. I love the orange. It, it matches really well with the hair. I love the orange. So I did a quick look through and this is my color palette board. So what do you think? Think I could do well with that? Let me go ahead and tell you what I have. So if you're not familiar, if you if you missed out on it, this right here is the Joann's Big Twist and it is the vamp color. So Joann's had three colors for Halloween and they immediately sold them out at least twice that I'm aware of. Uh, if you saw them in stores, you were lucky. I'm in Colorado and I did see on the website on their first release, the only time that they had it, it was in Colorado Springs which is about an hour drive for me. So I didn't do that. I ordered them online. Um, I ended up getting three of each and then I had a giveaway and I gave some away. So that is that one. And I think that is just, yeah, it's called vamp, whatever. I like the dark autumn colors of it. That's just a me kind of a thing. This right here is more, and I've got a wound one and then one in the hank. And that is a more luxury yarn. So you can say sacrilege or not if you wanted to, if you made a pumpkin, that's your choice. That is Manos uh, Maxima, and this is a 100% merino wool. It's 219 yards for 100 grams, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So I do have that. This is the same thing. Being that they are hand dyed, uh, you know, they're going to look a little bit different because these are different, different times for winding, but that's okay. If I were making pumpkins with it, 
it's fine. They'll be gorgeous. So those are some gorgeous variegated options. Another one is this facets. This one right here does not have the sparkle. Uh, it was a choice for the Fingler Smiths. Obviously, I went with the, the yellows because they're gorgeous and it has sparkle. But this is another gorgeous option. See, <laughs> you can see just the cheeks, just the cheeks and the eyeballs. But it's another gorgeous option with the oranges. It would be a very soft pumpkin. It wouldn't have that rigidity from it. You're doing a lot of, since it is crocheting, you are doing the back loop crochets and you kind of want that ridges. But it's your object. You can make it however you want to with whatever yarn. So this is another one that fits my color palette that I would look at. Another big twist option from Joann's Big Twist, if you have it near you, great. Whatever you have, this is a stuffed pumpkin. You don't have to go out and buy something new if you have something that's close, right? So this is the Varsity Gold. Uh, and I really like this color. I got this and I'm making some squares for Boggy Creek and making donation blankets for that. And that's why so much of it's already used. But I'm sure there's enough to do a pumpkin. And if I wanted to do something, I've got some uh, deep red maroon and things like that. I could add different colors to either stripe through it or different parts of the pumpkin can kind of make it look like, you know, those fancy gourds and different lines on it. So just options to take a free pattern and elevate it. That's, that's a word I like to use. Elevate it to your designs. Make it unique to you. You know, the, the pattern designer got you started. They gave you the numbers. They gave you an idea and you can go from there. And then this other one that I looked, and this is a very, very bright orange. I don't think it has an actual name on it. This one I got in my mystery box from Goucher and it's a coming soon. So coming soon meant that it wasn't necessarily this particular, it's a four ply worsted weight yarn, but this particular one isn't on their site or it wasn't that day. It might be now, but it's a beautiful orange, very, very bright. And I thought that would be a good one for my wheel, my color palette of all things gorgeous in fall. And I mean, again, isn't that absolutely fantastic? <laughs> it's gorgeous. Which one would you use? What would you do? Um, or something different. It doesn't have to be one of these. These were just gorgeous colors that I have available. And why keep them? I mean, don't throw them away. That's not what I mean. But, but why why continue to keep your whatever for that one special project one day? Everything that you see here has a story. Everything that you see, or like some of the things you're looking at and it's like, well, wait a minute, I have a sweater quantity, or maybe that's for a baby or something like that. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna get around to it? So make 10, 12 objects with whatever that take one skein instead of holding it for that one sweater that you may, might not ever get to. All I'm saying is enjoy the things that you have, use them. You got them for a reason. You don't have to wait for the perfect pattern. You don't have to wait for the perfect something. I've had this gorgeous yarn in my stash for at least a couple of years and it's beautiful. And this one's even wound and ready. And I've been waiting for the right project. So it might be this, it might be something else. Point is use it, stop. Stop holding it for one day. You're special. You're worth it. Use the good stuff. You've got it. You bought it. Use it. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you go join us and make a pumpkin or two. Should be pretty quick. It should be pretty enjoyable. And join the Facebook group and show me. Show me what you've made. Show all of us what you made. We'd really like to see it. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. Bye-bye.